It's going to be all right. What is going on? We can get him out of control. What is it? We can get him out of control. It was going to be all right from the beginning. What are you talking about? Let's get him out of here. It'll be all right. Boy's dead, all right. How did it happen? The usual thing. They say he attacked the police. Others say he came out with his hands over his head. What happened? Yeah, that's what nobody seems to know. You told us it was all in hand. Now, we prepare for these things, you know. I have never seen most of the men who were pushing Dr. King. What do you mean you've never seen them before? That's what I mean. Some of them I have never seen before. Where's Martin? He's in there. I've never seen him so depressed. I'm afraid for him, man. There's reason to be depressed. Can you imagine what the hyenas and the media are going to make out of this? In Memphis, people were injured, stores were looted, property was destroyed, terror reigned in the streets, people were beaten by hoodlums, at least one Negro youth is known to have been killed, and massive rioting erupted during a march which was led by Martin Luther King. It was a shameful and totally uncalled for outburst of lawlessness, undoubtedly encouraged to some considerable degree at least by his words and actions. And I hope that well-meaning Negro leaders and individuals in the Negro community in Washington will now take a new look at this man who gets other people into trouble and then takes off like a scared rabbit. Martin Luther King fled the yes, so happy. He took to his heels and disappeared, leaving it to others to cope with the yes, so happy. forces he had helped. They're destroying him, Arthur. I knew they would. And they're doing it. Dad, you have to control yourself. You can't let him see you feel this way. How can you be nonviolent with such brutes? Such scoundrels? You have to show them that you know what they are. And you've got to stand up to them. Go to him and ask him to come out. I can't. He won't listen to me anymore. I can't. I can't go in there to him. I have a beautiful son, and they're destroying him. I knew they would. It wasn't your fault. Yes, it is. How can you say that? I shouldn't have allowed one person to march in that protest unless it accepted nonviolence. I should have understood.
depth of those young people's bitterness towards me. Martin, you can't be responsible for every demonstration that goes wrong in this country. And what Bird said on the floor of the Senate, that I was responsible for people being killed, that I lovingly break the law like a boa constrictor. Now, since when have you cared what he says about you? It isn't him, Corey. It's others. It's our own young people that hurt the most. Are you going to Louisville? I have nothing to tell them. people who have always attacked you. They're the ones who never fought till you spoke up. <laughs> they just want to be Martin Luther King. They're not offering anything constructive. You know that. And you know what they are. Maybe I should let them have their way. Maybe we should let violence take its course. I know it's wrong. I know it's not going to work, but Maybe it has to be. I've never heard you talk like this before. It's not going to lower that. The way he's been acting these last couple of days is just as well. The poor people's march becomes all the more important now. It becomes all the more important to drop. Maybe he's got to go back to Memphis. I suppose he's got to prove that nonviolence isn't dead. Why does he have to prove it? I know you never believed it. You damn right I never believed in it. That's a tactic I went along. But believe it, what kind of an idiot you think I am? How does he feel? How do you expect him to feel? Twelve years he's been at it. The man's exhausted. So that's all it was. Twelve years. Twelve years to change what had existed for centuries. Twelve years to go from Montgomery to relationships with presidents. To challenge them. Sometimes to gain their friendship and then their hatred. To have your house bombed, to be stabbed. To be arrested more than 120 times. Would we have done it again if we knew what it would cost? 